Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to class. I'll wait a couple minutes um, for people to get in and get settled. Um, if you are logging in, welcome. Happy Thursday. Write your name down so I know you're here. I can see on my phone how many people are watching now, so this is helpful. I cannot see it when I'm looking at the screen. That is all right. That is all right. Okay. Beth, welcome. Beth, Beth, Beth. You have been consistent. Well done. Bridget, hi. Yay, you made it. Elaine and John. Hi, how are you guys feeling? Okay, very good. Very, very good. Okay. Veronica, yes, we have some consistency here. We have a pretty good group going on. Keeping ourselves in a, in a calendar during this lockdown, so on a schedule. All right, well, I will go ahead and start then. Um, welcome to class. My name is Melissa from Reef Point Yoga. Christina, welcome, made it to the live class. Welcome, welcome. Let me know the difference between uh, your live class experience and afterwards. It's better because I think the quantum field feels our energy when you're practicing, so welcome. Um, and now I forgot what I was saying. Welcome. Um, Yes, Melissa from Reef Point Yoga. This is a 4.30 all level flow class, uh, 60 minutes from my living room. Um, I hope you guys got to tune in to Dane this morning. Dane, um, one of the owners of Reef Point, he does a meditation every morning at 8.30 and they're just a great way to start the day, setting good intentions. Um, uh, yeah, just really, really great. So if you haven't tuned in for him, go check him out in the morning, see how that's going. Um, and then as for our class announcements before we start, and I apologize if I'm repeating our, myself for those of you that come all the time, um, three things, we have competitions, uh, competitions going that, um, is su supporting local business. And again, I don't know who the, uh, restaurant or local business is going to be this week, um, that we're supporting last week it was a hundred dollars to the fifth restaurant. So whoever shares the live videos the most, um, we'll get a gift card or something like that to your local business. Yes. And also um, your Venmos, when you donate, go to that cause. So that that's good to know. Secondly, write your name down that you're practicing so I can take roll call and I can, yeah. So it's really great to see you. I know who's practicing every single day. I feel you. All right. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. Elaine and John, Veronica, you guys are on fire. Beth, you're doing great. Bridget, I mean, it's just awesome. Okay. Uh, and finally, Venmo. So if you guys are liking the classes and um, want to support, here is the Venmo uh, way to do it. Once again, let's see if you can see it. It's at reef underscore point underscore yoga. So if you want to do $5 a class, it's probably that's recommended, but of course it's up to you. Um, this goes to those local businesses as well as keeps us alive. Um, and you can write down in, in Venmo your request for what you want in class. So you can use it as your platform to request whatever. Otherwise, you have to do whatever I'm doing. <laughs> so, okay. Um, props, two blocks, and a strap and some bands. That's usually what I'm going to do. If you don't have Manduka blocks, you can use regular foam blocks. Let me show you this difference. All right, so I have foam blocks, and then I have the Manduka blocks. These guys are 20 bucks from Manduka. They're really sturdy and stable, and you can clean them easily. These ones are cheaper. Um, they, they're fine. They're not quite as stable. So if you, who knows how long we're going to be in this, guys. I mean, I'm not a Manduka spokesperson or anything, but I bought these and I bit the bullet and just paid for them. And I love them. So these are the Manduka cork blocks. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, 
I don't really have an intention for you today, to be honest. Um, we just keep going through this thing. Um, and I, I think just continuing to be here and continuing to practice is so amazing. And I, I love you guys for that. And I love our little community. And really, I think that self-care is doing more for us than we know and for our community than we know by continuing to take care of ourselves. Um, I think to continue to breathe, knowing that we are not in control of this thing. This thing is coming at us. Um, so to continue to show up on the mat without having anyone, you know, without me seeing you, well, I am kind of seeing you because you're on this, you know, you're <laughs> commenting, um, but it's really a cool thing. So thank you guys for um, making that sense of community um, when it's, when we're in this weird period of isolation and confusion. And, and unknown. We don't know what's going on. We don't know how long this could be. Um, or at least I don't know how long this is going to be um, or what it is, what it means for us. So um, it means a lot that we're all here practicing yoga. You know, regardless of what's going on out there, we can still come here and breathe and take care of ourselves and eat well and move and breathe um, and be kind to one another while also I feel like this is a time where we can really see who we are um, because we're all in a position where we're getting bombarded by all this information and it's a good time to observe who we are. Are we kind? Are we combative? Are we angry? Are we no wrong, no right answer? Just it's a cool time. Cool. It's my interpretation. But to be able to see ourselves, we are how we're acting, how we choose to behave when we are in the middle of chaos. So thank you for practicing with me. All I can say is I think we got a great group. Well done. Um, yeah, and let's practice. Okay, let's start on our back today. Let's start on our back today. All the way down. Hey, Melanie. Yes, Eamon, welcome. Zara, great. You have been super consistent. My welcome. Linda from Australia, yay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, great. Um, so lie all the way down. Uh, if you have a strap, go ahead and get it. You don't need one, but I'm going to use one or I'm going to give you cues. So lie all the way down onto your back. <sighs> Hug your knees into your chest. And then make sure that there's nothing in your way. All right. Tee out your arms. And let's, I'm going to show you what one of my teachers has shown me recently. We're going to try to really lengthen the spine. So let your legs go long. I think I may need to scoot back. I think I may need to scoot back. So, there we are. Okay. So, put your right heel in between your um, left big toe and second toe. Tee out your arms. And then go back and forth. All the way back and forth. Your head goes the opposite way of your feet. See so if you can get any cracks in your spine. Keep breathing and switch. Left heel goes in between your right big toe and second toe, and then drop it from side to side. Lift your hips up all the way. Head goes opposite way. Good. Release. Now right foot comes on to left knee. Drop your right knee all the way to the left. Look over the right shoulder, and then drop the right knee to the right. Look to the left, and you're going to go back and forth. See if you can get the knee all the way down. Warming up the spine for three. Two, one, switch, left foot on right knee, drop it all the way over, and then switch, 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 back and forth, back and forth, breathe, good, all right, now, bend your knees, and you're going to drop your knees, oh, no, you're not, next one, right leg is going to go all the way up, and then drop your right foot to your left hand, look over your right shoulder. Look back up and then right foot to right hand. So that's going to be a little bit of a hip opener, right? Back up, switch, back and forth. So it doesn't have to look pretty. We're just getting into the spine, all different parts of the spine. Good, switch. Left leg goes up, right leg long. Put the left hand by the right, or excuse me, left foot by right hand and back and forth. Keep breathing. Good. All right, now bring your knees into your chest. And we're gonna take both knees to the right elbow. 
and back up, both knees to the left elbow. Back and forth. Keep breathing. Good. All right, now for the fun part. Cross at the shins. Grab your ankles or peace fingers, big toes. Now you're gonna roll 360 degrees all the way around to the left. All the way around, all the way around. I think I did this one time before. All the way around until you get back to where you started. Mula Good. And then when you get back to where you started, switch, other shin on top, roll again. All the way around. 360 degrees. Say hello to your spine. Move it around. Good. And now release. Pull your knees into your chest. Send your right leg long. Right knee, right armpit. Pull it in. Breathe. Notice how your heart's beating a little faster. Just notice. All right. Half happy baby. Take your right foot up. Grab for the outside of your right foot and pull that right leg down outside your ribs. You can use both hands if you want a little bit extra and give it a pull. Straighten your left leg for three, two, and one. Very nice. From here, go ahead and lift up right leg. Let's stretch out the hamstring. So your right leg is straight. You want to point your right foot and then you can, if you want to use your abs, you can bring your chin to your shin and you can hover left leg for three, two, one, lower the head, grab the outside of right foot, just like we did before, open the hip and look over your left shoulder. If you have your strap, you are welcome to use your strap here as well, around the right leg, like so. Okay, and breathe. Use your left hand to push down on left hip. Lori, I can see your name. Hello, welcome, Lori. Yay. All right, bring your right leg back up. You're gonna take left hand to the outside of right foot and just cross it over slightly, just a little, until you feel a stretch. I feel a huge stretch in my right inner thigh. Oof, oof, oof. Good, bring it back up, figure four. Right ankle over left knee. Interlace your hands behind left hamstring. Give it a pull. Breathe, flex both of your feet hard. Remember yesterday how we did, I think it's called Galambasana. I don't know the Sanskrit, flying pigeon. This was the key. First of all, thank you guys for witnessing what was a miracle. <laughs> I actually got up and did that pose in front of you guys. But this was the key, was these ankles that are turned on and aware and flexed. So let's see how often we're aware of what our ankles are doing in the poses. Yoga is about learning, having our mind be aware of what every single part of our body is doing. Like, what is your pinky toe doing right now? What is your left shoulder doing right now? What is your breath doing right now? All right, okay, release. Take your knee pile, right knee over left. Reach up, grab your ankles, lower it back down, and then bring your ankles in towards your glutes and squeeze for five, four, Three, two, and one. Release, 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 release. All right. Right leg goes long, left leg goes all the way up. So straighten up your left leg, point the left toes, hug it in, maybe lift up your right knee a little bit. Breathe. Then you can go ahead and lower it back down. Outside of left hand goes to left foot. Open the leg. Open hip. Look over your right shoulder. Take your right hand and push down on right hip. You can use your left elbow as a kickstand here. For three. Two. One. Bring it back up. Now right hand grabs left foot. Cross it over for the inner thigh stretch. Breathe. And bring it back up. And now take your figure four. I feel like, I, oh, no, we're going to do half happy baby. Bend your left leg. 
And you can just use your left hand and pull that down. So I'm using some bicep here. You're using some muscle. Or you can use both hands and see how close you can get it to the ground. Deep breaths. Stretching, stretching, stretching into the left hip. For three, two, one. Now, figure four, left ankle over right knee. Flex both of your feet. Interlace your hands behind your right hamstring. Lower yourself back down and breathe. Mula Bandha here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knee pile. Release just your hands. Wrap your left knee around your right. Squeeze your inner thighs. Reach up. Grab for your ankles and lower yourself back down. Breathe. It smells amazing in this apartment. My roommate has made um, some Hello Fresh meals, and they're phenomenal smelling. I think it was rice and I can't, I can't remember, but it smells great in here. Two and one. Good. Release. Take a full body stretch. Reach your legs long, your arms way up. Stretch through the sides of the body. Stretch your legs, stretch your arms. And then on your exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Rock and roll up and down. And then come up to a seat. All right. So we are in our seat. If you if your knees hurt here in Sukhasana, so right now mine are in a little bit of pain because I tried to do half lotus and lotus. <laughs> There's a little bit of tension. So you can put blocks under your knees here. If you're if you're not so bad, I guess I'm not that bad, but it's not the best. We're just gonna fold here. So a light hip stretch. Take a breath in, lengthen up your spine, and then on your exhale, go ahead and fold down. Walk your hands forward. I used to live in New York, and I, that's where I started taking my yoga classes, and they would say forward, forward. They wouldn't say the R. I thought that was weird. Walk your hands forward. Stretching through the hips. Notice what you feel. Walk your hands over to the left. Stretching through the right side. Back through center, take a breath in. Over to the right, stretching through your left side. Just bring it back to center. And then walk your hands behind your hips. Take your little hip stretch. So you're going to bring your knees down, push your hips up, drop your head. Push your arms really straight for three. Opening the inner thighs, two. And one, lower it back down. Switch the crossing of your shins. Take a breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. Uh, my screen is flashing a little bit, so I hope that is not interrupting the feed. Deep breaths. And when you're ready, rock it over to the right. As far as you can go, your belly's over your right leg. Stretching through the left side of the body. And walk it back to center and over to the right, or excuse me, left. Bring it back to center. Exhale, fold it down one more time. When you're inhale, walk it back up. Hands behind the hips. Exhale. And then on your inhale, drop your knees forward. Lift your hips and drop your head for three, two, and one. Lower down. Good. Reach your legs out long. Grab a block if you have one. We're going to see how far we grow in this class. 
Take a breath in. Oh, first of all, actually, let's do this. Bend your knees a lot. Interlace your hands. Reach them forward. Take a breath in. Reach up. Exhale. Now lean forward. You can release the bind in your hands. Grab for your feet. Belly is on your thighs. Stretch out. And now tuck your chin into your chest and notice how that stretches the back of your neck. Back of your neck. You can also reach under your legs and grab for opposite elbows. Three. Deep breaths. Two. One. Release. And now go for full Pashimottanasana, your version. See how far you can go. So, um, Get in the hamstrings, allow your legs to go a little further. Grab your pinky toe edge side, pull it towards you, push your toe, your big toes forward. Tuck your chin. Three, two, and one. Release. Come on up. Okay. Make sure your blocks are nearby just for funsies. Cross at the shins, roll over into your tabletop pose. Let's do a few cat cows to warm up the spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round. Tuck your chin. Push the ground. Inhale. Drop the belly. Look up. Exhale, round. Cat pose. Let's do three more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good. Uh, from here, lift up your right knee. Let's do this little clamshell situation. Notice how tight your right hip is. Exhale, close. Inhale to push. This is a little leg press. Use your booty. Use your glutes. You're going to flex your right foot and then pump up and then bring it back down. Open, down. Up, press, and down. So breathe at your pace. We're just going open. Make sure left hip stays over left knee and push. Let's go five, down, up, down, four, down, up, down, open, three, 90 degrees, push, last two, up, one more, open for one. And push. Good. Now take your left hand, grab your right foot, open up, look over your left shoulder, and kick your foot into your hand for three. Stretching your left bicep. Two, straight left arm. And one, relax. Left arm under right arm. Oop, I just fell. Uh, thread the needle. Any variation, I'm going to take my right leg out, and I'm going to hook my big toes. Okay. Hooking, hooking, and then my right arm is going to go up and back and take a half bind so I can open my chest for three. Mulabanda, push your blade edge side of right foot down, two. And one, right arm goes up, bring it back down. Release your left or your right big toe, bring that knee back down, and then inhale, sweep your left arm up. Exhale, close it back down. Good. We're going to do the other side. Left leg up 90 degrees into the clamshell, flex left foot, and down. And then again, you're going to kick it up. Use your left glute, and imagine pushing that leg press, right? So you're using a little bit of booty muscle. Down. Here we go. Open. Down. Up. Down. Let's go for five. Five. Down. Straight arms. Push. Down. Open. Four. Down. Push. Down. Open for three. For two. Last one. One. And push. Good. Now lower that. Oh, sorry. Kick your left foot back. Right hand grabs your left foot. Kick your foot into your right hand and look over right shoulder, stretching through your right bicep for three. Straight left arm. Kick. Two. Breathe. And one, release. Right arm goes up. Inhale. Exhale, thread your needle. Right arm goes under the left. Take your version. I'm going to take my left leg, stick it out. Peace fingers, grab left big toe. 
pushing the bladed side of left foot down. You can't see it, but that's what's happening. Left arm goes up, and on your exhale, hook your right hip, open your left shoulder. Mula Bandha, stretching through your right shoulder, twisting through the belly, three, two, oh my gosh, this food smells amazing. And one, release your big toe, inhale, left arm up, exhale, lower back down, bring your left leg up, exhale, close it down. Inhale, right arm goes up, exhale, close it back down. Good, tuck your toes, down dog. Hold it. Find stillness. Tuck your chin to your chest. Feel the stretch through the back of your neck. Pull your belly in and up. Lift your pelvic floor. And breathe. Pasta Bandha. That's your hand lock. So grab the floor and then push it away actively. Breathe. Five. Four, three, two, and one. On your inhale, lift your right leg high. Open the hip. Can you see me? I think so. Point your right knee to the sky. Look under your left arm at your right foot. Stretch through your right hip flexor. Feel how open that is. Really try to get your right knee up to the sky and kick your left glute with your right foot. Breathe. Lower your right shoulder, though, if it came up. Good. Now take hip circles. Go. One. Big circles. Two. Lower your left heel if it came up. Three. Opposite direction with the circles. Go for one. Two. And three. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Look forward. Exhale. Right knee. Right tricep. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left tricep. Straight arms. Let's go two more times on that. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right tricep. Inhale, lift. Exhale to the nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left tricep. We've got one more. Inhale, try to make contact here. Exhale, right tricep. That's one. Inhale to lift. Exhale to the nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left tricep. Stay here. And on your exhale, send your right leg under the left arm for fallen triangle. Lift your left arm up. You can stay here, or you can take peace fingers and grab your right toe and lift your right leg. Three, straight right arm. Two, and one. Three-legged dog, pivot, right leg high. Look forward, exhale, low lunge. Put your foot between your hands, lower your back knee. You can bring your blocks along here if you want. So you can get a little extra height. I want you to stretch through your left hip flexor. So if you have low back pain, there's a very good chance it's because the front of you is sore, or tight, excuse me. So back pain means the front of you is tight. So a lot of us, including myself, it is the hip flexors right here, which means this is sore, okay? So hold here, you can come up to your right knee. You can interlace your hands for more. Press your palms out and then reach your arms up and lean back. Now, when your arms are up, you can breathe better. You have more lung capacity. So take advantage of it and breathe for three. Lean back. Two. And one. Good. Let's do a twist. Left elbow, outside right thigh. Hands come together or fist into your left hand and twist. Option to take it up so you can tuck your back toes and lift up your back knee if you want to add balance. Three. Twist. Two. One more. One. And release. Good. Half splits. Straighten up your right leg. Flex your right foot so you can stay here with your blocks. 
You can start to slide into fold splits if you would like. Option to use your block. Which I think I might do. The back of my right knee is sore. So hold it here for five. Four, feeling that left hip stretch or, or hip flexor stretching. Three. Two, if you're in half splits, it's the front of your right leg. And one. Start to slide on back up. And now we're going to take wizard. You'll toe your right foot over to the outside edge of your mat. You can still use your box, right? So you can be here. You can be here. You can also have your elbows down on the blocks. Okay? Your right knee can come out to the side. Can you see my right knee? So it, it's not straight up. It's kind of falling out to the right. And just breathe here. Enjoying the stretch. I feel it in my right hip, my left hip flexor. Try to keep your shoulders away from your ears. Pull your belly in. A little up dog in your chest, right? Mula Banda. Now if you want Crooked Monkey, bend your left leg, right hand grabs for the foot, pull the foot into the middle part of your glutes, and then open up, look over your right shoulder. So here we're stretching into the left quadricep, left top of the thigh, top of the left thigh, rather, three. Three, this is a good time for a strap if you can't quite make the foot. Two, and one, release the left leg. Good. And then from here, bring it back up, hands come down, tuck your back toes, lift up back knee, three-legged dog, reach it all the way up. Exhale, flip your dog. The ball mount of right foot comes up and over. Straighten your left leg. Keep your right leg bent and reach forward. Straight left arm. Look at your right hand for three. Lift your hips and your heart. Two. One. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Hold it here for five. Don't move. Four. Stay strong. Breathe. Three. Two. One. Bend your elbows lower all the way down or to chaturanga. Hold your chaturanga. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Up dog. Now you can lower your hips. We're going to pause here for a little bit. Make sure there's no tension in your low back. If there is, it needs to be. Hips brought up a little bit, right, or separating the feet. Your toes can be tucked or untucked. Stretch out through the neck. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look up. Straight arms. Do you feel the bicep stretching? Tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Then, go with me. Breathe. Tuck your chin. All right. Let's move. Inhale, left leg high. Open the hip. Look under your right armpit at the left foot and stretch out your left hip flexor. So keep pushing your left knee up and opening it up. This is your hip flexor right here. Okay. Keep your left shoulder dialed down. Lower your right heel a little bit if it came up for three. Push the arms away. Push the floor away, two. One. Now make your hip circles. Go. One. Two, three, opposite direction for one. Big circles. Two, and three. Beautiful. Take a breath in. Three legged dog. Lift your left leg super high. Exhale, left elbow, excuse me, left knee, left tricep. Make contact. Straight arms. Inhale to lift. Reach it up. Exhale, lead the nose. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right tricep, take it across. We're going to do two more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, to lift. Exhale to the nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right tricep. One more time. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right and hold. Take a breath in. Exhale, fall in triangle. Shoot your left leg to the right. Lift your right arm up, right? Or two piece fingers on your right hand. Hook your left big toe and then lift left leg up, 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 up. Three. Two. One. Inhale, three legged dog. Left leg high to the sky. And then exhale, left foot steps in between your hands. No, it doesn't. We're going to flip the dog. Left ball mount of the foot comes to the ground. Keep your right leg straight. Lift your hips and your heart. Reach your left arm forward. Five. Look at your left hand. Four. Three. Three. Two. One. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg high. Now look forward. Exhale. Now take your low lunge. Left foot comes in between the hands. Lower your right knee. Grab your blocks. Okay. Ooh, my poor left right knee. Okay. All right. I'm give it a little love. Something's funky going on in my right knee. All right. So you can stay here. Now we're stretching through the right hip flexor. Right hip flexor. You can see down here. Lift your chest. You may need to come higher on the blocks. Or you can take your hands to your left thigh. And then push your hips forward. Breathe. Soften your shoulder. Notice if you're doing this. Relax. 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 Lift your chest. Soft face. Slow breaths. Good. Take your twist. So now I'm going to take a breath in and reach my, I'm kind of going to already use my right hand to twist me. And then I'm going to lengthen and then hook my right elbow outside the left, bring my left palm, or yeah, my right left fist into my right hand and then twist. You're trying to bring that, that bind in your hands to your heart. Look up. Three. Two, this is a detox for your liver. Two, did I already say that? And one. Relax. Half splits. Shift your hips back. And here we are in half splits. So this is for your left hamstring, the back of left leg. If you want to go for full splits, you can slide your back knee back and your left leg forward. You can put the block under your left leg. Now you're also stretching into your right hip flexor as well as the front of the left leg. Okay. So breathe. All right, and start to bring yourself back up. Lizard, heel toe your left foot over to the left side of the mat. You can keep your blocks with you if you'd like. Otherwise, your hands come down. And then open your left knee. This is Lizard. You can hold it here. Here's another variation. You can come down to your elbows. See, make sure you don't roll over into your right hip, though. So if that's happening, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. That'll give you a better stretch. If you want to take crooked monkey, left hand grabs for right foot. And then pull um, right foot. Is that right foot? Yes, it is. Right foot into the middle part of your glutes and maybe come down to your right elbow. And open up. Open your chest. Open your shoulder. Breathe for three, two, stretching your right quad, and one, relax. All right, hands come down, tuck your back toes, come into your three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, shift into your plank and hold, five, four, three, Two, one, chaturanga, maybe hover one inch off the floor, five, four, three, two, and one, untuck your toes, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, breathe, chin to chest, hasta bando, lock your hands, push the ground, Ujjayi. 
And one beautiful. Bend your knees, look forward. Walk, step, or jump into your forward fold. Let's leave your feet at hip distance today. Pasta Banda. I don't remember what this is called. Pasta Banda is hand lock, but we're going to do step on the palms. So flip your palms to face up, right? Then step on your hands. So your toes are massaging your wrists. Take a breath in to look up, a little up dog in your chest. Exhale, bend your elbows out to the sides and fold. Pull your shoulders back and tuck your chin to your chest. Lift your pelvic floor. So men, the cue there is squeeze your booty. Women, it's like pulling a string up your cervix. That is mula banda. So you're walking your pelvic floor. That's the way that I'm putting it mostly. And it keeps the energy in your torso. Three, two, one. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, grab your big toes with your beast fingers. Pull yourself down. One more halfway lift. Up dog in the chest. Exhale, pull yourself down, chin to chest. Hold. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Release your big toes. Very nice. All right. Uh, from here, let's come into yogi squat. Let me see what our time is. Y'all doing good? It is 42 minutes in. Sweet. Sweet. All right, let's come into our yogi squat. So the toes are pointing out a little bit. Um, if you are up here, then what you need to do, stay there, is you need to get a towel or a blanket. Look at this. One of my clients and really good friends gave me this blanket. And it says, can you read it or is it backwards? I love, wait, where is it? The person I've become because I fought to become her. Isn't that sweet? That is so true for all of us, isn't it? We work. All right, so with your um, blanket, if your toes are up, you want to get a blanket, and then in your malasana, your yogi squat, your heels are going to be on that. So that way you can relax rather than squeezing your calf muscles. We want your calf muscles to relax so your Achilles stretch. And then use your elbows to open up the knees. Mula Banda once again. All right, from here you can take crow if you want. Bring your hands down. Uh, I haven't seen Liz Marsh. This is her favorite pose <laughs> in, the, in the room recently. Um, but okay, so crow again. You want to get your knees up as high as you can. Let's see. I'll come back over here. You can also use a block to start off. So your feet are already higher, it gives you a little bit of a benefit. So get your knees as high up onto your arms as you can. You don't want the knees hanging off, you want them on the arms, on the triceps. Look forward, and then start to lift. Okay, if you want more, you can play with one-legged crow, which, which is when you lift a leg. I'm not sure I'm gonna go there today, but you can. Hold. Or stay in Malasana. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Go ahead and lower it back down. Back to your Malasana. Let's go to frog pose. Y'all ready for some frog pose? All right. Bring your hands down. One knee comes down. Next knee comes down. Flex your feet. Slide, so your knees are going to be in line with your ankles the whole time. Keep sliding them out. And then you're going to bring your arms down. And then you're going to push with your elbows and your forearms away so your hips go backwards. So 
So this is stretching through the inner thighs and preparing you for full splits, full middle splits. Remember when we could do this when we were kids? We'll be able to do it again. We have a lot of time in lockdown to practice. <laughs> I have been doing so many, so much yoga. <laughs> I don't know if this has happened to you. A lot of you guys have practiced for a long time and are consistent practitioners, pretty advanced. When I wake up in the morning, I cannot wake up without doing spinal twist first. When I'm not even awake, it's a spinal twist, crack, 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 and then happy baby. And then I can get out of bed. But it's not like it, it's not going on up here. It's just like, it's just an everyday <laughs> twist, twist, crack, crack, crack. All right, we're gonna stay for a few more minutes. You can rest your head if that feels good. As long as you keep pushing your elbows forward so your hips keep going back. Make sure you're getting a nice stretch. All right, start to come back up. Oof. All right, bring your knees back. I usually put the feet back together and then slide the knees up. And from here, we're gonna come into, let's do um, either pigeon or double pigeon. I'm gonna go for double pigeon, I think, today. So I'm gonna start with my left leg on the floor. The left shin is parallel with the top. Now our hips should be open because we did uh, Sukhasana folds at the beginning of class. So see how you feel here. Take your right ankle over left knee. And now you see this gap? To get it down, you grab your booty, and then you tilt your pelvic bowl forward. So notice how that just dropped it a crap load. If you are still up, if you're still up here, and it's just like, ah, oh, this is awful, you can use a block here, right? Or a pillow, or your I'm amazing blanket. <laughs> I love that blanket. Um, yeah, and so if you're in your double pigeon, you can stay or you can start to fold. Really getting into right hip. Make sure your shins are stacked. I see a lot of people that, you know, don't want to stack your shins. Actually, it's not the end of the world if your shins aren't stacked. None of this is like fixed, you know? One of my teachers in the past told me that whatever teacher you're practicing with, just do what they say. But I've had so many different teachers that say different things that it's like, just. Do something that stretches out that hip. <laughs> you know, try to go with the teacher if you can. Um, but every teacher has a very strict, well, some of them, I'm not sure if I'm in that camp, but a strict way to do things. Um, I find, I've kind of found my little way. I, I like double pigeon. I like to make sure my shins are stacked. That for some reason, that's like a big thing with me. I have to have them stacked. But if they're not for you, it doesn't matter. The intention is to get into your right hip, right? If your knees hurt, you can also be in Sukhasana, like we did at the beginning of class. So we're going to hold it here for a few more moments. I'm going to start to come on it. And then take your right leg and send it out long. Take your left foot into... into right thigh. Now, if your left knee is hurting, you can take a block under your left knee. Okay. Try it. Um, I know we have this ego. Me too. Me too. Big time. I don't want to use blocks. I'm like, I don't need it. Advanced practitioner. My knee kind of hurts today. So I'm actually going to use that as a cushion and then fold and it feels better. So I've heard yoga shouldn't hurt. So if anything feels like it's hurting, try something else and then start to fold.
breathe. So your chin can be at your shin, you can be looking at your right big toe, or you can have your chin tucked and your forehead on your knee. Or you could be here. Okay, for three, two, and one, start to walk it up. Now you're gonna put right elbow inside right knee. Left arm goes over the ear. <clears throat> Stay here or grab your foot and twist open. For three, breathe into the left side of your body. Two, and one. Release, let's do stargazer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the block out of the way for stargazer. Left hand behind your backside, right arm up. Take a breath in, hold here. Press down through right foot, five. Lift your hips, four, look at your right hand. Three, Mula Banda. Two, and one, lower it on down. Good, let's do the other side, the other side. Okay, so right knee in line with your right hip, parallel the shin with the top of your mat. Left ankle over right knee. See how this, there's a gap here? We're gonna try to get that down by grabbing your boote and then scooting forward. And then you can kind of lean forward and notice that that goes down. Again, if there's still that gap, you can take a lovely little block and put it here. And if that's still too painful, you're in easy sit, sukhasana with your left shin over your right, okay? Okay. All right, so stay here, or, oof, that one's a little wider, or fold. And breathe. I think I left us in the other one a little while longer. I was giving some kind of a speech, but now I don't remember what it was. Oh, about the shin stacking. Yeah. All right, start to come back up. Bring your left leg out long. Right foot inside left thigh. Notice your right knee. If you need the block, take the block and put it under that bad boy. I don't think that that one's all right. No, I'm going to use the block anyway. Just going to use it anyway. Take a breath in. Reach your torso up and twist it over left leg. And then on your exhale, drop it down so you can be here. You can be chin to shin looking at your left big toe. Or you can be head to knee. Your choice. Stretch and breathe. Where do you feel it? Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your hands up. Inhale, and then your left elbow comes inside left knee. Right arm goes over the ear. Stretch here, or again, your right hand can come down to left foot and then twist. So three, two. And one release. Oh. Take your stargazer, get rid of the block if you have one under your right knee. Right hand behind your hip. Left arm up and over. Lift your hips. Push into left foot. Look at your left hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Oh. Good. All right. This class went a lot faster than I thought it would, so it's time for closing postures. I'm going to take a back bend. Y'all want to come and just back fin land with me? Okay, so if you're having your block, you can be here for restorative. You can also bring it on up to the highest level and chill. If your back hurts, bring your knees out wider or bring your um, block lower on your booty rather than right up on the hips to give your lumbar a little bit more space. So stay there or if you want to come with moi, up we go into full wheel. Hands come by your ears, breath out, <sighs> inhale, reach it all the way up, bridge, five seconds, or five counts rather. 
breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, tuck your chin all the way down and come. And now hug your knees into your chest or windshield wipe your knees or Supta Baddha Konasana. I like this one for today. I'm going to do some spinal twists. So this is releasing your lumbar, the lowest part of your back. Your lumbar spine. Okay. Okay. Before we end, I want to see how far we've grown. Roll back up. Extend your legs out long. Reach your arms up. Take a breath at first. Get the flesh out from under your booty. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, all the way down, and notice how far you have grown. All right. Really see all that extra space that we've just created. Four. We've literally grown. Three. Spine. Two. And one. Good. Come back up. And now you have a few minutes to do whatever you need to do to close out class or come into Shavasana. So I'm going to come into Shavasana with you. I think I may take one more happy baby. But you can do whatever you want here. You can do an inversion. You can do your headstand, shoulder stand, legs up the wall, fish. Child's pose, where you just roll around like I'm doing. <laughs> and then take your time. And when you're ready, you take seed pose, squeeze everything. So your forearms wrap around your shins and you hug your elbows for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take Shavasana. Reach your arms all the way out. Reach your legs out long. Let your toes off to either side of the room, tuck your triceps under, close down your eyes, and breathe. 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 When you breathe in, know that you are breathing in. And when you breathe out, know that you are breathing out. We're going to stay here for about a minute and a half. Let everything go. And hear the silence. Notice the energy flowing through the body. Surrender to what is. Give up control. Now as you're ready, start to move in your fingers and your toes. Deeper breaths, ankles, wrists. Waking up. Inhale, morning stretch, full body stretch of the sides of the body. Reach, exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Roll over onto one side, come into a little ball. Find the peace, gratitude, 
for our self-discipline to come to the mat, to continue on this path of health. Breathe. And then keeping your eyes closed, come to Sukhasana, easy sit. Crisscross legs or lotus, half lotus, full lotus. Release your fingers down to your sides. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Press your palms overhead. Exhale, pull your thumbs down to your heart and tuck your chin. The light, the teacher, and the student in me recognizes, honors, and reflects that same exact light, teacher, and student in you. Namaste. Thank you guys for practicing with me yet again on this lovely Thursday. Um, Sun will be back out again tomorrow. Dane will be teaching um, meditation tomorrow at 8.30. Thank you, Bridget. I'm so happy you practiced. Um, so Dane, tomorrow at 8.30, I will be back on the mat at 4.30 as usual. Um, and then the weekends, I'm at 9. 9 on Saturday and Sunday. But tomorrow is 4.30 again. Um, and again, share this video if you want to be in the competition. It helps us. It helps others do yoga. Let's share yoga. Um, second, comment that you practiced. And third, um, if uh, you are interested in donating $5 per class, this helps us uh, to know what you're looking for. You can write the comments of what you would like to practice. It helps us to support the local community for the competitions. So this is Venmo at reef underscore point underscore yoga. So thank you guys. Um, I love you. Be kind. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for staying with me in this crazy time. Um, Zahra, thank you. Linda, great. Yay. Um, I love you. See you tomorrow.